Hello everybody, and today we are going to be doing um, chapter 2 of um, The Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft. This is uh, the tale of Inspector Legrasse. And in this chapter, we find that this inspector from Louisiana came to this convention of um, archaeologists to try to figure out um, this mystery that he has uncovered and maybe they can shed some light on because no one has been able to. And what happened was um, he is from like south, way down south in Louisiana and they were getting reports of people going missing from the swamps, um, from these squatter camps. So um, there was also um, reports of like a voodoo cult down there doing some weird stuff. So him and 19 cops go down into the swamp and they get to the squatter camp and they're like, yeah, it's down there. And they could hear the drums. They could see the glow from the bonfire. They're like, we won't go any closer because there's a lake down there that has this um, kind of like an albino alligator that's like not really an alligator, but that lives in this water that is got glowing eyes and it's just terrifying and these black winged creatures come out at midnight and worship it and it controls your thoughts and your dreams so um he's like yeah i'm not gonna they're like we're not gonna go with you guys but that right there like i can't believe Lovecraft never wrote a story about that. Um, that just sounds bonkers. I wonder if he ever planned to, and it just, he never got around to it. Um, it's just one of those things. Well, anyway. So they go down to this thing um, where all these naked people are. It's super windy right now. So, hopefully you can hear me. Um, they go down to where this um, ritual is taking place. And there's this big bonfire and people are speaking in a language they don't know. And in the center, there's this um, granite stand that's like eight feet high that has this little tiny statue on top of it. And we'll get to the statue in a little bit. And then around the whole area, there are all of these people that have been gone missing, dead hanging um, from the trees around. Um, it's just like a total horror show here. Well, the cops come in and just start shooting people and arresting people. And um, they arrest a bunch of them, killed like six of them. And Legrasse took this weird little statue off the top of this thing. And this statue is um, where all this comes from, everything we're talking about here. Um, Lovecraft drew a picture of the statue and all put it in here or there or whatever and it is Cthulhu and um, it was made out of some rock that is unknown on earth um, the language on it um, on the base of it there's all this stuff scribbled on it and nobody knows what it is um then he takes these cultists in and starts interrogating them. And he finds out that this cult 
worships Cthulhu. And they have worshipped him since forever. There's always been a Cthulhu cult. And um, Cthulhu, from his dead slumber, uh, is telling them what to do and how to worship him. And when the stars are right to free him so he can take over the world and the elder things, will teach them how to be horrible, horrible people, basically. I'm full of freedom. And, um, so he tells all of this to the people that he's talking to. And this one guy's like, you know what? That looks exactly like this, um, thing I saw in Greenland with these Eskimos who, they had no way of communicating but they knew all of the right words. They knew Cthulhu, and they knew real yay. Now, quickly, um, nobody's supposed to be able to pronounce Cthulhu. That's why so many people pronounce it differently. Um, the creatures that speak like that have different vocal cords than humans, so we would never be able to pronounce it correctly. And probably the same with real yay. Um, people pronounce it different all the time. But it's the same concept, so it's fine. So, now they know that this is like a legit thing. And, um, everyone's kind of freaked out. But we have, like, the famous quotes. Um, the one that's like, uh, and now I'm gonna say I'm wrong because I drew attention to it. That is not dead, which can eternal lie, and with strange aeons, even death may die. So that's one of the ones. And that, um, if you remember, is from the, uh, I believe that was in the Nameless City, um, out of the Necronomicon. The chant that, um, they said, um, that the... Um, voodoo, or the Cthulhu cult was saying, is in his house it really a dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. And that's the thing that the guy who was in Greenland could never figure out. So at this point, um, we know that this Cthulhu thing stretches over a great distance and um, is probably pretty legit because these people had no way of communicating with one another and um, so now it's gonna start getting a little crazy and our investigator hero who is recounting all of this stuff through all the notes um, even goes to shake his finger at the um, artist who made his uncle kind of go crazy in the first place. And then realizes, oh, wait, no, I think he's quite sane. So, oh, well, I don't know what to do now. So um, he thinks about it, and then he comes to a conclusion. And that conclusion will also be the conclusion of next week's video. So if you haven't read Call of Cthulhu, or at least the first two chapters, they will both be available right now on um, weirdmask.com. You can go take a look at it there. And next week we will finish this story, and boy is it amazing. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.